Okay, let's get started with your paper roller coasters. So here's the supplies you're going to need. You're gonna need some tape. Um, we're using masking tape, but you could also use clear tape. You need a pair of scissors. You need a ruler or some sort of straight edge to help you make straight lines. Um, you're going to need a pen. Make sure you've got a pen. You're going to need your columns. Those are the white sheets that are labeled column right here. We're gonna be making those first. You need some kind of magazine or book to put underneath um, the paper roller coaster templates. This will help make sure that when you're tracing and scoring these lines, um, it doesn't go through make marks on your table because you are gonna be pressing firmly. And then you need to have a base. So the base for your paper roller coaster should be 13 by 13 inches. Um, that's exactly what I have here. You can also do 13 by 23 inches. And once you get your cardboard or your foam board, whatever you're choosing to use, you need to draw a border around the edges of your base that is one inch. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take um, a ruler and you're gonna measure one inch from the edge all the way in and make some marks um, all the way around. Do that on all sides of your piece of cardboard, one inch border, and then you're gonna trace them so that you see this border. You're going to need that because when you put your column um, right here, you need a border to tape the pieces of the column down with. Okay, once you have your base set, let's start making your columns. That is the very first step. So one sheet of paper roller coaster template will give you two different columns. Um, you'll see a solid line right down the middle. Whenever you see a solid line on the paper roller coaster templates, um, you're going to be cutting those. So this will give you two different columns. Dotted lines are where you fold. Solid lines are where you cut. So this is one of our columns. You're now going to take your straight edge um, and your pen. Make sure again that you're underneath or you have this on top of a magazine, and you are going to trace all of these dotted lines. Now you wanna press firmly on this and get it as straight as you can. The reason you're doing this is it's going to help you um, get nice, clean, straight lines for your columns so that they aren't crooked. If you end up getting crooked columns, your paper roller coaster uh, will not be sturdy. So we're gonna trace all of these dotted lines Again, pressing nice and firmly. And then one of these ends, you also need to trace the very thin dotted line because you're gonna also fold this as well. And you only need one end um, traced because one end is the only part that will go on the bottom. Okay, once you have those dotted lines traced, you're now going to take it and you're gonna fold it. Now see how nice and easy that is folding into a nice, crisp, clean line. Um, if I wouldn't have scored those lines with my pen, this would be much harder to get into a straight line and it could end up being crooked. So scoring is very important. Take the bottom piece down here, also fold that. And then you're gonna fold it all together like this so that you have your column. And then you're gonna take some pieces of tape. I would say um, probably about three and you are going to tape this column together so that it stays put just like this. Okay, so about three pieces of tape. And then you're gonna come over here to the edge that you folded and you're gonna cut just up to the line on these dotted lines so that you can fold these flaps so you can tape this onto your base. So when you have one column done, you're gonna put it over here in the corner of your cardboard base, just like that. Um, you're gonna want your flaps on the border, that one inch border that you created. And then you wanna tape this down nice and firmly so that you have a nice solid column on your base. I'm gonna put a couple pieces on each column just to make sure that it is nice and sturdy. All right, now you're gonna repeat that process for the rest of your columns.